Tell us the truth about what's going on. This is death, okay? I'm dying. There is no main character here, except for Tiger Woods, and we can't see Tiger Woods. It's just get what you can get, grab a crowd. We were supposed to do this for tomorrow. They want it for 5 o'clock tonight. I got those women, they were good. And, you know, this is a story about not being able to do your story. In any other medium, this would never air, but this is local TV news, so it will air. They send a crew, they're gonna get a story. No, let me take that back, they're gonna get a minute 45. I don't know if they're gonna get a story. Thank God for him. Good old Randy's gonna save my butt. Because he's out there getting shots, things I can write to later on. But everybody here is media crazy. They all want to be on television. They all want to get their autographs. So it's real hard to get anything spontaneous. In fact, it's hard for you to get anything spontaneous. Kevin <laughs> Costner. Kevin Costner. Of course. You'll stand on a stool for Kevin Costner. For about the last hour. I climb a tree. Anything else? <laughs> Are we on TV? Because I can't tell you. And now, Kevin Costner to stop. And we're going to have to cut the next sound right now. We're at 105. Really? We are, we are dead meat. Stand on a stool for Kevin Costner. For about the last hour. From Spyglass Hill, Wayne Friedman, Channel Hey, 7. Dennis. Wayne, 145. Maybe even 144 and a half. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, hang on. We're going to be 144 and a half. How do you like that? Yeah, right. Come on. From Spyglass Hill, Wayne Friedman. Yeah, right. And on a stool for Kevin Costner. For about the last hour. Yeah, and this year the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is drawing more attention than ever before. And the crowds are so huge, the stars remain distant points of light, as we learn in this page from Wayne Friedman's Notebook. People don't watch the evening news the way they read a newspaper or watch a movie. It's sound bites. It's quick images. It's on and it's gone. Though, to be more precise, you don't actually see their shots as much as listen for them. Here, the young tiger misses a putt. And now Kevin Costner tees off. He may dance with wolves, but he also slices into the woods. Clearly, one of life's great tragedies. You'll stand on a stool for Kevin Costner. For about the last hour, I'd find the truth for Kevin Costner. It's frustrating because I put a lot of effort into these stories, and I cut these stories and write these stories and read these stories as if people are paying attention on a big screen. The reality is that they're not. Most of them are hardly paying attention. From Spyglass Hill, Wayne Friedman, Channel 7 News. Well, Wayne's great. view of the world. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. I love it. You have to understand that I grew up in television. My dad was uh, with ABC since its founding in 1948. My dad invented the concept of the live electronic handheld camera. He's the first guy that walked around a football sideline live. First guy to take a camera on a convention floor live. He was a pioneer. The reason I got on the news is that uh, my dad once said to me, son, if you want to go into television, go on the news. They will never cancel the news. So far, they haven't. Tonight on Channel 7 News at 11, it could only be a page from Wayne Friedman's notebook. This used to be a two-room apartment. Now it's a command center with secret passages, tunnels, and 37 different rooms, all transformed with cardboard, aluminum foil, and 30,000 feet of duct tape. This is called Northern Zone Fortress. Visit this man with a vision and an apartment like no other. Tonight at 11, only on Channel 7 News. 
Go down the hall, go down the hall, yeah. probably a quick a mm -hmm. two or three montage, quick a strange sound bite, and then we'll feel our way through it. Because I don't know anything about good, it. It's good, just you're good. not gonna believe this. Well, show it to me. <laughs> Wayne, you got some pockets? No, I think you should not. I don't want to break it. I broke through the Hello, door. Kenny. Maybe he blasted off already. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, somewhere on Mars. Right? Hello, Kenny. Hi. This is John Griffin. Kenny. Hi. Kenny Irwin. Good to meet you, Kenny. Enter the spaceship. Enter the spaceship. Oh, nice, Kenny. Very nice. Oh, oh interesting uh, lighting. This is going to be bizarre. This is just outrageous. Got some stuff going here. This is going to take a while. I could spend the first hour just kind of like checking it out. Wait, you know? mm -hmm. I actually want to keep it on your belt because oh, it's okay. a wireless and it's, you know, radio frequency. My kids just want to have it. <coughs> I don't care where it picks up all those good radio frequencies. Rip, we got a lot of room to look at today. Why, why is it that the one day you follow me on a story is the weirdest piece of all time? We've done some really good people through the years, and you get Kenny Irwin. So you can keep yourself busy in here for hours? Pretty much. I still like to go outside if I can. What's the record, you think, for staying inside this, this apartment? I've got 48 hours. How do you move all this stuff when you leave? Where do these visions come from? They come through my dreams. My dreams uh, indicate what... Just a POV like. literally walking through the doorway and around. Kenny can sit there and be watching TV. Or whatever you'd be doing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay out of your way. And I'm going to figure out what to, what to write here. Because uh, I'm at a loss. These parked cars may look innocent enough, but in the summertime, they're potential death traps. To show you how potentially dangerous a parked car can be and how fast it can heat up, I'm going to spend the next 35 minutes inside this one. This isn't going to be easy. The car heated up immediately. In fact, within less than a minute, it was already at 105 degrees. And now, after five minutes, the thermometer reads 110 degrees. The golden handcuffs. <laughs> the golden handcuffs. The equation in television is the more money you make, the less freedom you have. The golden handcuffs mean that after a while, this becomes not just a career and not just a means of expression, this becomes a job. 23 minutes have passed and it's unbearably stifling in here. The temperature is still climbing, but the thermometer isn't. It's reached its peak at well past 130 degrees and I'll be lucky if I can hang on for 35 minutes. It's always their soapbox. And if you are elevated above the crowd and if you have a voice above that crowd, it's because it's their soapbox you're standing on. My soapbox is KGO TV. If KGO chooses to rip my soapbox out from under my feet, I'm just Wayne Friedman, a guy who uh, is like anybody else. There's people uh, you know what? Milt, this is Aaron Labarsky. Hi, Aaron. Hi. This is Bill. Hi, That's Bill. Dave. Hi, Dave. Milt is the big boss. They make the plays. I run the plays. Even if I don't like any given story on a given day, the chances are I will still like the process. I'll love doing it. And the day that that becomes a chore is the day that uh, I need to find something else to do.